Hello, hello, and welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things. I'm super glad to have you here with me here today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell down below. It would be really groovy and cool. Today we are doing another episode in the Should It Stay or Should It Go uh, series. And today we are looking at the Naked Honey palette from Urban Decay. Gorgeous. I, I haven't used this palette in a long time. So that means I need to get into it and see if I want to keep this beautiful gold thing. And this is, it's, it's a really good quality formula. Um, I really, I really like this formula from what I remember. So let's jump in here and make a look. So I'm going to start with Sweet right here. A little uh, kick up in the pan. But it's a great crease color. It's just a little darker than my flesh tone. But it's a great neutral. And it goes on nicely. But there's a lot of kick up in the pan. And I'm not used to that with a lot of palettes I use. A lot of indie brands and stuff just have some, you know, better quality as far as that goes. So that's cool. I got a little crease color going. Let's see. There's some delightful colors in here. I'm going to go into drip here. That's got a little less, look at that. It's a beautiful kind of brown color. Going in my crease and on my outer corner here. That is lovely. That is just beautiful. Mmm, I'm loving it. Now I'm going to... These colors, golden and honey in the center. One is like a yellow gold. And then this is more of a gold gold. And I have to choose which one I want on my inner corner because I need a shimmer in my inner corner and on my lid. I think I'm gonna go in with honey, that yellow gold. Where's my fingertip? Go in a little bit more. That's pretty. And the pan saws are just perfect for a fingertip. Did they plan it like that? I don't know, but I'm going to say they did. So anyway, I'm just doing some makeup to feel pretty around the house today. I'm not going anywhere. I have no big plans, but I am getting ready to go out of town and I'm looking forward to that. I've got a lot of traveling in June. So that is something very exciting for us because we have not really traveled other than overnight somewhere uh, for more than a couple of days since you know, 2019. So it's really exciting to be able to get out and do something. Let's see, I'm gonna go into Amber nice shimmer that looks beautiful that looks so pretty I need a little pop of dark color on my outside corner a little depth and the darkest color we have is sting it says chocolate brown 
I just went in real light. Look at this hat. That looks good. That sure is pretty. That's a good look. It's a little dusty, but it still makes a pretty look. But I'm not convinced that I'm going to keep it. Because I just don't go to it. I don't do a lot of gold looks. And this is a Stila Super Stay All Day Eyeliner, the double ended one. I made a little wing. It's always so, I, my approach to each eye is so different. I go left to right on one eye and right to left on the other. It's just weird. They both turn out really pretty good, so that is lovely. I'm going to use the Lancome Lash Eye Doll. I got this on sale at Ulta. It was a really good sale. It was like 18 bucks. So you gotta love that. My friend Bernia uses this mascara and it looks great on her lashes, but I just have such baby lashes. And I believe that they're baby lashes because of the lash extensions I did several years ago and my eyelashes have never really recovered so eyelash extensions are pretty but they are expensive and messy and you have you can't hardly wear any makeup with the eye makeup with them without having to be super careful about I'm making clumps. This mascara just does not work well for me. And I got some up top on my, on my brow bone, which is crazy. That's what Q-tips are for. For cotton swabs. It's a pretty look. It makes my eyes pop. But I'm not going to keep this. And for my lip, I'm going to do Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. looks good so it's a beautiful palette it made a good look but I just don't reach for it and I've got other palettes of golds and browns in it so